Hey everyone, <clears throat> Remade the Raging Furry here, and we are back with episode 12 of our Fallout 4 Fun Time playthrough. Now, we need to follow Nick Valentine, and I believe we went the wrong way. Um. Where is my shell? My shell shotgun. Excellent. I've collected an issue of Grognak the Barbarian. Whoa, 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 I need to get out of here. What? No, nah, I'm not going there. Yes. Hubris Comics. There's Nick. Uh. How much did, stuff did I have? Commonwealth Scout. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. There we go. Quest completed. What do you need, General? Hey. Yes, I did it. Yeah. Hi. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Your money. All of it. Now. This ain't my first mugging. And I'm just gonna say it. You're not that scary. Why don't you run along? Hey, Carla. Ah, the would-be robber. You're gonna have to shoot me, cause I ain't giving you shit. Ah, uh, oh well. <laughs> you 
told me to shoot ya. Eh, at least I stole her caps. A, a sort of uh, note, I guess, uh, from a sponsor here. Hey, you in the paper, and right? Uh, You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? <laughs> Need new clothes? Should stop by Fallon's basement. Open during the day. Okay, let's go to Nick Valentine's place. to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Something wrong, honey. Can we get started on my case? Oh, of course. There's just a small clerical thing we need to clear up. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know... If you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. All righty, then. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they, they just it's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. Yeah, 
And of course, there's the Institute. Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human. Infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. <coughs> You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like <coughs> myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. <laughs> I love this part of the story, although I'm trying to take it slow. I'll look at the cases soon enough. Oh, wow. You're tall. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance, bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? 
lock's really strong. Nick. No luck? Guess we'll need to find a key. Ooh, I can't get through that door. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Got it. Let's do this! <laughs> Come on, dog meat. Hey everyone, Remade the Raging Furry here, like, post-edit. Or like, well, I should say more like mid-edit. I'm kind of lucky that I've recorded extra footage for this episode. Because in editing it, I realized I wasted so much time on this segment of stuff. It was unbelievable. Like 50 some odd minutes of footage cut down to 28. And it's all because I couldn't steal stuff correctly. And then I decided to jump out a window. So, <laughs> I mean... The first time I successfully convinced the mayor to actually give me the keys, but the second time I failed it, which you're going to see soon. But all you need to know is that nothing important happened here, and I fucked it all up. So anyways, let's get right back to the video. And luckily, it's coming up right now. Okay. Now that's done and over with. I'm actually going to save like do a quick save or something okay let's go up there dog me I don't care if you teleport Maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. <laughs> Look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Always in and out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know... Need anything proof yeah, I got you, Piper. Steal the desk fan. Steal everything that is not nailed down. Oh, there's something in here. A screwdriver. Alarm clock and a plastic bowl. Combination wrench? Oh, yes, please. Get fucking dog meat. No funny business around the mayor. You got it? Yes, sir. Don't think I can pick this. Whoa. Oh, fuck off. I'm just leaving this part in to show you exactly how stupid I am. This is some bullshit. At least I saved beforehand. <sighs> yeah, 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 come on. Why does the mayor come out of his office, huh? He's afraid of 
running. You ever think uh, you could get a man's attention easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What are you doing here, Piper? Trying to find out why the mayor happens to be meeting with the same suspicious-looking courier every other week. Not from any settlement I've ever heard of. And not from a caravan. Oh my Always gosh. Out before anyone has a chance to talk to him. An errand boy from the Institute, maybe. <laughs> After this article comes out, that's what everyone's going to be asking. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but the Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Well then, I guess I am stupider than I thought. I still can't stop stealing stuff. <laughs> Mayor McDonough. I'm gonna steal shit from your office. Or not. Now Let's go talk. That's a real one. Talk to Mo Cronin. He'll fix you up. Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes. Getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps dying. Oh, crap. I wanted to press X. Wobbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry, but Fuck! however horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed, your word alone isn't hard evidence. I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount. You can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some thug for hire. Fine. Damn Thanks it. for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. I know who I'm going to talk to next. Geneva. <clears throat> All right, let's actually get. Let's bribe you. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. I don't have time. I need that key now. Why is finding this key so important to you, honey? Please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a sweet guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. <laughs> yeah. So will the key auto-generate on the desk? Hopefully it will.
Okay. Now. Let's get down there and save again. <sighs> I'm gonna have to record this in two parts. Because there's a lot of shit that I just have to cut out. Let's keep going. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. <laughs> I got shot in the ass last year. Okay, let's get up there and help Nick Valentine. The key? All right, let's head in. You do the honors. I will. Let's take a look around. Tell me <coughs> must have left something behind. This place seems small to you. Because a guy like Kellogg would think big. Hey. All right, let's trade with you. Where's my junk? My weapons, um... Hardened sniper rifle. What else did I find? Suppressed advanced ten millimeter pistol. <laughs> oh. I never got rid of those? No wonder. I have to put those things on my thing. I don't know what that means, but... Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Yes, I did. Well, not really, but yes, I did. Oh my gosh, I had to readjust my headset. I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch. But. No, I did. What? I didn't want to sleep. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Dog meat. Well, look at this. All of them are Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Get hit okay. in the head. Argent plasma cells look like what we got. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I guess I can't fucking talk.
Damn, 20, 45 rounds? Waiting on you. For what? For what, Nick? I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whip? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? <laughs> All right, now we can complete other quests. Damn it, I have to get the shit from dog meat. Oh, that pisses me off. Mm. Oh, come on. I really don't want to have to go all this way, damn it. But now I have to. Because I forgot to take the shit from dog meat. No, I don't want to go over this way. I just want to talk to dog meat, but no. I know that one is specifically a trap. Hmm. Kellogg must have stopped here. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. Lost the scent, boy. God damn it! You building a collection? San Francisco sunrise. Dog meat, pick up the scent. Kellogg's again. preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. God damn. Go, dog. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. This is some shit. Um, where is it? No, that's not what I wanted to use. Uh. 
Um, where's my aid? pistol oh fuck oh fuck oh fuck fuck Dog meat. Where's dog meat? I guess I'll switch to my pistol. Fucking mole rats. I remember the last time I did this mission, I encountered. Uh, fuck, what do you call it? I encountered a fucking clan of robots and shit. It was really annoying. Because <sighs> I died to it several times. Fucking frame drops. Of course. Nope, I think there's ghouls down here. Looks like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open.
bloody bandages. Dog made you track him, this. That nose is second to none. Okay. Watch the Okay. Um, let's see. What exactly can I give you that I've picked up? I can give you the combat shotgun. Shotgun shell, stim pack. Oh, this is good. then what else can I pick up or was it just those couple bodies yes I'm coming dog bourbon's worn off oh you're fucking joking me I need help. I need to drink those stupid fucking... I'm just gonna drink this bullshit. And like the Jewinit Stout, or Gwinnit, or whatever the fuck. I think it's Gwinnett Stout. some of the addict doll. Damn s fucking sting wings. Hate those stupid things. Oh my god. <sighs> it's 
Speaking of, I probably need to eat more of that stuff. I can save the dirty water for a cooking station. Iguana bits. I'm gonna use some rat away. Oh no, I'll just pop some rat eggs, whatever. Needs found something. You know the drill. Well, that's some wonderful lighting. <laughs> I'm trying to activate the campfire, but it ain't working. Yes, dog meat. Gwyneth Stout, one of his creature comforts. Dog meat, pick up the scent again. <coughs> hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? <coughs> I really want to take the stuff dog meat has on him. So as a result, I must follow. I knew there was ghouls here. Damn it! Fucking damn it, dog meat. ghouls, man. <sighs> Not happy about ghouls. Especially traveling through this area. I'm not running because I need my AP. Exercise extreme caution. Hell of a party happened here. 
Radstag hideout. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's my buff out? Um, weapons, weapons, weapons. Um... I guess I'll take that. Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. This had to be Kellogg. Signature confirmed. Assailant Kellogg. Known associates. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Huh. Okay. Let's go, dog meat. A super mutant. <laughs> Letting my AP recharge. Yes, because that's totally how a dog runs up the side of a mountain. our man no no no
rapid hunting rifle. Okay, it shoots 308. Okay. What are you shooting at? Damn it. Ah, uh, dog meat. Seriously. Place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Yeah. Mind if we swap some things around, dog meat? Alright guys, this will have to do it for this episode. This one will take a lot of editing, but luckily I can cut out a large chunk of it. Anyways, I genuinely hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you nuzzle someone's muzzle today.